How to seduce him. Yes, I know this content is a little bit different from my other content on this channel, but I stumbled across this video on YouTube because I am subscribed to Psych2Go. They're a very good channel. And I just thought like, hmm, you know what? This video could really be a quick guide into how to seduce Harry Styles. I literally watched five seconds of this video and was hooked right off the bat. Hopefully this video will make me closer to Harry and maybe Harry will notice me. So here we go. <laughs> The man of your dreams is sitting across from you. What's stopping you from reaching out and grabbing his hand? A lot of things are stopping me. First of all, Harry Styles lives across the pond and I've never met him. I mean, he's literally a DM away, but... Well, a lot of things could be. Most likely it's the fact that you've been friends for years and you don't know how to tell him about this sudden change. Yeah, here's the thing. I feel like I've been friends with Harry Styles for years, probably since 2012. We've... It's a weird kind of friendship though, like we really never talked, I've never really met him, but um... It's okay, like this person says there could be like a lot of reasons why this could be kind of hard. You're worried you'll ruin what you've had if you try to pursue something further. And this is the thing I was worried about. I'm worried that I'll take it too far, I'll scare Harry away, and he'll never follow me back. It's certainly a risk, but nothing worth doing is without risk. Didn't Harry say that before, like don't knock it till you try it? Yeah, so he wouldn't mind me doing this. If your friendship has recently blossomed into a sexual tension fest, listen on and see how easy it is to get him interested. One, let him know you're interested in him sexually. Sometimes a direct approach is best. This doesn't have to be a proposition nor a proclamation. Okay, look, I know she said it doesn't have to be like a direct message or a proclamation. But listen, I feel like there's no other way to get a hold of Harry. Oh my god, Harry does not have his DMs open. Okay, I guess I actually have to publicly tweet Harry. All right, let's see what I should type. It can be as simple as a probing question or a flirtatious text message. Something fun and casual to hint that you're interested in something more with him. Okay, so I can't be too blunt, but I gotta be like soft with it kind of and like kind of flirty. Harry, hope this isn't too blunt, but you're... Gucci brings all the fuck, all the boys to the yard, and by boys, I mean just me? Question mark? Maybe that's a little too blunt. I, I don't know what to say. However, this can be too blunt for some people. If you want to try a softer approach, two, talk about sex and relationships together. Okay, first of all, she just said don't be too blunt about it, but then she's like, talk about sex and relationships together. How do I start this off? No doubt you've exchanged jokes about sex or discussed the relationships you've had with other people. By suddenly bringing up these subjects in a serious way, you're able to explore them with more depth. Okay, so she wants me to talk about my past relationships with Harry Styles. Okay, I had like one and it lasted for like a few months. Um, but I don't think Harry's gonna care about that. You know, like a few months, like that's like nothing to Harry, right? This also has the added benefit of getting him thinking about sex while you're around. In fact, maybe you will realize that you have something in common. With any luck, he'll connect the two ideas and start thinking about you more than a friend. See, that's my overall prerogative. I want Harry Styles to just think about me all the time, and I want him to just feel comfortable. I don't even have to message Harry to know that we have a lot in common. Harry likes music. I like music. Harry likes singing. I like singing, even though he's better than me. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and we both like Louis Tomlinson. Three, invite him to more intimate hangouts. Ooh. Maybe you two aren't best friends. No. Maybe you've only ever hung out at parties or with other mutual friends. Yeah. The first step to let him know you're interested in more is to initiate one-on-one -on -one time. All right, so regarding the circle of friends, I haven't hung out with Kendall Jenner or any other girls he's been rumored with, haven't yet bumped into Louis Tomlinson. So, you know, I'm not really within Harry's posse or his circle of friends, but I think Harry can let that slide, you know what I mean? Go for a walk or grab drinks together before you two head to a party. Anything to get you two alone together without 20 of your closest friends. Okay, so intimate alone time, grab coffee. Perfect, Harry, like Starbucks, I've seen him get like four mocha grandes before. I can do that. We're both basic. This girl also said, make sure your 20 closest friends aren't around. Well, sis, I don't even have 20 friends, so it's not a problem. Four, get his friends to drop hints about how you feel. Getting our friends' opinions on our significant others is inevitable. 
We want to be assured that we made a good choice and that our new lover is as great as we think they are. Like I said before, I've never hung out with Harry's friends, so it might be a little bit hard to have his friends actually talk about me in a positive light. Maybe just visit youtube.com slash queen halo. You know what? If I could just get Louis Tomlinson to say like one positive thing about me, that's all I need. If you two have a lot of mutual friends, bring up your feelings with some of them. He will likely talk to them when you're not around and they'll be able to drop some hints about your budding desires. Okay, so she's saying that I have to talk to Harry's closest friends to, you know, get closer with Harry and then he knows more about me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to tweet Louie and that will make Harry talk to Louie. I see what she's playing. I see where she's going with this. Oh, and look at that. Louie has his DMs open. Much easier. I can do this in private. We don't need my 20 closest friends watching me. Oh, and look, here's the message that Louie never looked at from a year ago. <laughs> hey, Louie. Um, so, hey, Louie. So, um, you know how, fuck, I can't even tell you. You know how we, yes, we both really like Harry. Well, I heard that getting to know his close circles is the best way to get closer. So if you could talk to Harry, fuck wink, then maybe something will come of it. AKA you guys coming out public. Oh wait, that took a turn. <laughs> All right, so that might've been a little too forward. So let's see what else I can do. Five, forget the subtle hinting, just say it. You don't even need to tell him you're interested sexually. Making it clear your feelings have changed is enough of a jumping off point. He'll most likely appreciate your honesty and will be more willing to have an open and frank discussion with you. I'm not really understanding this video. Okay, so she doesn't want me to be blunt. She wants me to be like subtle about it. That's what was said in the beginning, but now it's like I have to be like off filter. Like she's like, just say it. This video is very contradicting. Like how am I supposed to know what to do? Six, invite him into private areas of your life. Oh, you don't even know what I would do to have Harry Styles in this private section of my life aka my room. Do you have a talent he doesn't know about? Let him into that aspect of your life. Invite him to your next open mic session or show him the newest chapter of the book you're writing. How do they know I do open mics? Flashback to my most recent video. We can make it till the end. Okay, so why didn't I think about this? In order to get Harry Styles' attention, I just have to show him I'm talented, like I'm worth something. I can do something with my life. So yeah, I really don't have any open mic gigs coming up, but but I did yell into a microphone with headphones on recently, so maybe he can just watch that. Seven, dress in a way that makes you feel the most confident. Down, got it. Nothing gets a guy going like confidence. Don't dress to please him. Dress for yourself and dress however you feel the most powerful. This will instantly make you more attractive and compelling. He won't be able to resist you when you're strutting your stuff and radiating confidence. Honestly, who could resist that? Eight, Talk about the future before anything happens. Boundaries, family, and mutual friends are the most important topics to discuss. If you two had a close relationship, or if you've worked together, you'll want to be very clear about what will happen in the future. Okay, look, I already know that Harry's probably planning a future with Louis Tomlinson, so I kind of feel bad for getting in the way of that. Many individuals often realize at this point that because they have such different goals in life that it is sometimes better to just stay friends. And that's completely okay. No, it is not okay. This girl is just playing it off like, oh yeah, if you do like X, Y, Z and this whole list, like it's okay if you just stay friends in the end. You don't need to date. No, I am not walking away from this just being friends with Harry Styles. That, that's not why I'm doing this video. What was the point of me DMing Louis Tomlinson and tweeting Harry Styles? Like, Nine, cook him his favorite meal. Chicken stuffed with mozzarella wrapped in parma ham with a side of homemade mash. Everyone loves food. If you like to cook, then this is also a fun way to show off one of your passions. All right, so if I can't cook him the chicken stuffed with mozzarella, cause his husband did that, um, I can make toast, maybe some eggs, cereal, prepackaged college food. You know, Harry's very humble. He's not like the typical celebrity. So, I mean, he's not gonna eat like cuisine and whatever rich people eat. 10, initiate more physical contact if he's okay with it. Consent. Not everyone likes to be touched. 
If he's one of those people who does appreciate physical contact, it can be a good way to hint at a change in your relationship. Well, here's the thing from what I know about Harry personally, he does like to be touched because we see that Harry loves touching Louis and Louis loves touching Harry. And it's very mutual and respected and it's lovely to look at. But then again, I'm not Louis Tomlinson, so maybe it's a little different. Use gentle arm touches, shoulder rubs, and hand squeezes to send the message that you want more. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but Louis has done all those things to Harry. We also have a video on the different love oh, girl, languages trying to promote your own one. video. 11. If he's got interests you're not interested in, try asking questions about them anyway. You might find weightlifting more interesting than you initially thought. I don't really think Harry's really into weightlifting. Like, yes, he goes to the gym and he does like those little skip and hops on the treadmill, but I work out a little bit. I think that's fine. However, you must also remember to be genuine. If you don't like baseball, don't force yourself to get into watching it just to impress him. Wait a second, does Harry like baseball? I know he likes the Packers, which is a football team. Um, but maybe just in case, I'll like look up a little baseball trivia, you know, so we can have a little chat about that. 12. Wear red or try out a red lipstick. Red is the color of passion. Wearing red means people will associate you with passion and sexuality. It's vibrant, vivacious, and attention-grabbing. Not only will you catch his eye, but he'll also subliminally associate you in red with passionate sexual thoughts. I am so excited to see what this relationship will bring us. Like the chemistry is just skyrocketing right now. 14. Make it clear through body language. Communication doesn't have to come from the words we say. Body language adds an extra dimension to understanding as many studies have proven. Try using subtle changes like getting closer to him when you're together or straightening your posture. Both of these changes will show off your confidence and sexuality. Uh, my sexuality is gay, so this isn't even gonna happen. Do you have any tips? Yeah, I got some tips for you. If you're not Louis Tomlinson, you're never gonna get Harry Styles. And also, if you're gay like me, this video was just a waste of time. Peace.